こんにちは、ゆいです。ジャクソンです。本日もご視聴ありがとうございます。今日はですね、アメリカのトップ10、変なところをお話ししていきたいと思います。イエーイ<笑><笑>このチャンネルは私と、えー、アメリカ人の旦那のジャクソンがブログを撮ったり、変なビデオを撮ってるチャンネルです。もし、この動画がいいと思った方は、ライクボタン、チャンネル登録お願いします。Like and subscribe! So, today we're gonna talk about top 10 weird things about America. 私たちは、本当に変だよ。I mean, it's weird, not a bad thing. Let's get to it! Number 10 is unreliable public transportation. In the States, I just feel like trains and buses never come s on time. <laughs> We never really use public transportation, and so I didn't really have a lot of experience with it.、Mm -hmm. And then、uh, when we came over to Japan, I kind of started getting like a feel for it. like... We take buses everywhere. The trains are awesome. And when we went back to America for one Christmas, I decided, oh, you know what? I never really did buses before, but they're great. Let's do that. So I decided to get us a bus trip that was like $30 or $40 cheaper than a flight. Yeah, it was, is it silver? Silver Hound or something?、Uh, Greyhound. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I forgot what it's like to be an American. And the Greyhound bus was like the scariest thing ever. It was super late. It was、yeah. literally leaking through the ceiling in the middle of the winter. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah, yeah. It was awful. American public transport is terrible everywhere <laughs> I've been. All right, next. Number nine is chatting with strangers. So this one's not weird. It's just nice, but、yeah, it's different. It's really nice. But you didn't grow up with my dad. I love your dad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad's、um, nickname? He's the social butterfly. <laughs> so every time we go to your、um, Jackson parents' house, we go to church. Go to church, and then when it's time to go home, we're all trying to get moving. But my dad has to say hi and find out how every <laughs> single person is doing in the entire building. And so the rest of us are all sitting in the car, patiently waiting for my dad to come out. And he'll be here in 20, 30, 40 minutes. Like you said, I think it is a fantastic thing yeah, about、nice. America. But my dad is a chatty, <laughs> chatty person. Yeah, like we don't know how our neighbors are doing. We've been living here for three years and we don't know what they do. That's kind of sad. Number eight American flags everywhere. What did you think when you saw that?、Uh, at first, I just thought it was like some holiday, <laughs> and then it just like never went away. Yeah, it never really seemed weird or out of place to me at all when I came to Japan. I think I've seen like two Japanese flags since I've been here. I think we gotta move on from this one before it gets political. <laughs> Let's go. Number seven, toilets. What's、uh, weird about the toilet? <laughs> when you're sitting on the toilet seat, you can definitely see someone washing hands just the other side of the bathroom. You could probably look at the mirror and then say hi. <laughs> <laughs> It was really weird for me to see that like, public bathroom have like, so little of a wall. Like where you're sitting is covered, but like, Above your head and like below your knee, isn't I don't know why <laughs> they do that. It's weird. They're trying to save, like, yeah, they're saving like <laughs> an inch of sheet metal material for everything.、Yeah. Number six, dipping. So, dipping is like a unique to American culture, I think. Maybe other cultures, I don't know, but I don't really know so much either. Definitely not Japan. Amount of money you get if you work in like the food industry or like customer service industry depends on how good the customers thought you were doing. It's crazy, like, how people still don't really try to do their best when like you are being judged. 
by the customer. I, I think it's a interesting culture. Not the worst thing. It's kind of weird to not know about how much you're gonna pay at the end when you order. Number five, sweets are too sweet. <laughs> I completely disagree with you. <laughs> Japanese food is not sweet enough. Next. What? <laughs> Just like looking at the recipe, I bake um, Japanese cakes and American cakes. It's just so different like how much sugar you put into that one cake. Yeah, every single time I make Japanese sweets, Jackson just say, it's not sweet enough. Number four. American uh, food proportions are so big, especially in restaurants. So this is actually kind of awesome for me and Yui because even though I am an American, I've never been like a super big eater. And we usually can get away with ordering just one meal at a restaurant and both end up completely full. So proportions are huge, but uh, one more part of it that makes it more okay is giving doggy bags. So whenever you... <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> <Not> dogs... Dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so whenever you order a meal and it's way too much food for you, there's absolutely no stigma about... Uh, finishing it? Yeah, finishing it, and you can just ask for a bag or a box to put it in to take it home and eat it the next day. Yeah, that's that's the one really nice thing about the US is that like pretty much every single restaurant would have a to-go box. Number three, daylight savings time. That's weird. Daylight savings time is the worst thing ever created. <laughs> I hate it. So for anybody who doesn't know, uh, in America during certain times of the year, uh, they set the clocks ahead one hour or back one hour. I think it came about to preserve more daylight time for farmers and we haven't needed it for a hundred years or more, I don't know, <laughs> but we still do it yeah. and it wrecks me. I get so tired for a month after daylight savings time for some reason. Changing all the clocks on the day off is a lot of work. <laughs> Microwaves and rice cookers and all the little clocks that we have around the house. Cars. Cars, yeah. It's just a lot of work and like I could do it but what if somebody else didn't do it? They're gonna be behind the whole time? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it's not at all uncommon for people just to leave a clock until it switches back. I don't think my grandparents would be able to do it. And there are some states that doesn't do it. Yeah, that's even weirder. And kudos to those states, that's the right move. <laughs> that's but, Arizona? Yeah, Arizona does that. Yeah. So, but if you live in one of those states or close to one, it makes the time change even more complicated. <laughs> Number two, calling adults by their first names. That's so weird for me. I don't think this is weird at all, so. What did you call my parents the first time you met them? I don't know. I don't think I called them. Like, it was awkward, like... Miller's not mom. <laughs> Mom's like, what? <laughs> I think your mom told me to call her Duane, like her mm. first name. And it was, like, weird for me to call her by first name. So I didn't. And then I just... Probably didn't call her name or like <laughs> at all until yeah, that's way more natural. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> until we got married, oh, no. so now I call her mom and Jackson's dad, dad. So that's good now. <laughs> that's the whole reason that you got married to me, is just so you could solve that problem. But I don't know what to call these people. <laughs> we need to get married quick. <laughs> if somebody is like older than your parents or around your parents' age, then for me, it's really weird to call someone by their first name. I think it's a Japanese thing. There's a little bit of that in the US too. Yeah. Uh, like we call our friend's parents' name, like Mr. Mrs. So-and-so. Yeah, but and when, school teacher. Uh, yeah, school teachers, school teachers get pissed if you use their first name. Right, so why is that not okay? <laughs> and like somebody I, like, I'm me calling mm -hmm. your parents by first name. Because they're family. They're not some stranger. They're family. That's why. The school teachers are not strangers. Well, that's like a professional relationship. 
Your so, co-workers who's older than you, you call Miss, Mr. someone? Oh, no, definitely you call them first name. Yeah, so with your knowledge ship, you still call by a first name. I don't know. <laughs> Weird, okay, Like, bye. what's the difference? <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number one. Two. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Not using coins. That's crazy. I hate using coins, but I don't think this is weird at all. So I personally, not like liking using coins. That's fine, but that that's just for every single person in the state. Like nobody ever ever used their coins. And if you try to use coins in the line of register, you are a bad person. You get looked at and like, like, why are you using your coins? Like, like, coins have a very specific purpose. Why? You take them home, you put them in the giant jar, <laughs> and then 20, 30 years later, your grandkids come over and they count them and say how much money they have, and <laughs> then they can go buy candy at the store, I don't know, something like that. So in that case, the kids are allowed to use the yeah. <laughs> coins. Either that or you take the big jar to the mall and dump it into the coin counting machine. Yeah, coinster. They turn it into a gift card or cash or something for you. In Japan, like the most common like bigger coins is 500 yen, which is about $5 worth. Yeah. So you don't want to throw that one away. <laughs> yeah. I think if we had bigger coins, then maybe we do it. But yeah. they've tried to start dollar coins forever in the U.S. And yeah. nobody ever uses them. American thing, well, I'm funny hand bagel. <laughs> Hen and awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you know anything else weird about America, put it in the comments down below. See you guys in our next video. Bye!